print email Facebook Twitter more Australian Kim Jong-un impersonator detained, questioned on arrival in Singapore an Australian Kim Jong-un lookalike says he was detained and questioned upon his arrival in Singapore on Friday, days before a summit between the North Korean leader and US President Donald Trump. The Hong Kong-based impersonator, who uses the name Howard X, is in the city-state for summit-related promotions by a mall and seafood restaurant. He said police officers who stopped him at Singapore's Changi Airport searched his bags and questioned him for about two hours before letting him go. He said police told him to stay away from Sentosa Island and the Shangri-La Hotel. Mr. Kim and Mr. Trump are to meet on Tuesday at the Capella Hotel on Sentosa Island and Mr. Trump is expected to stay at the Shangri-La during his visit to Singapore. Howard X said the police asked if he had been involved in protests around the world, including those by pro-democracy activists in Hong Kong. He said he responded he had been at the scene of Hong Kong demonstrations as a musician playing the drums. However, I never rioted and don't plan to ever riot, I told him that I would never do this in Singapore because it is against your rules to protest, he said. Demonstrations in Singapore can only be held in a designated area, the 2.4-acre Hong Lim Park, and require park approval. All other gatherings require a police permit. Later on Friday, Howard X and Mr. Trump impersonator Dennis Allen held hands and walked around Merlion Park, a popular tourist destination. They posed with mock chili and black pepper crab dishes and took photographs with curious passers-by. I'm here to stay, I don't think they will try and kick out the president. It wouldn't be good press for Singapore, Howard X said. Mr. Allen said, nobody started talking about a meeting between Kim Jong-un and President Trump until we suggested it at their Punchang Winter Olympics. It all started with us, if there's a peace prize that anybody should get, we should get it. Indonesian Janet Waoka thought the impersonators were the real deal. It's so shocking for me. I don't know why those two famous guys come here, she said. Police have not replied to a request for comment on the matter. From Australian musician to supreme leader lookalike, a haircut and some makeup was all it took for Howard to transform himself into Kim Jong-un, Reuters image. One of seven before and after. At 34, Howard is older and taller than 30-year-old Kim. But they share many facial similarities. Howard has bushier eyebrows and weighs less, but he jokes that he can work on that. Reuters image 2 of 7 Howard, who does not reveal his last name, is considered the world's first professional Kim Jong-un impersonator. Reuters image 3 of 7 When Kim Jong-un came to power in North Korea a year ago, Howard's friends teased him for his resemblance to the supreme leader. Now he's having the last laugh attracting plenty of attention on the streets of Hong Kong. Reuters image 4 of 7 Howard says being a Kim doppelganger can be fun but he also hopes to stir up dialogue about North Korea and its human rights issues. AFP image 5 of 7 Evan Howard says it's important for the world to understand more about a country which he says could have the ability to spark World War III. Reuters image 6 of 7 Howard's new career is proving popular. He says he's already had an offer to be in ads with retired US basketball player Dennis Rodman, who calls Kim Jong-un a friend. Reuters image 7 of 7 Ape.